Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a 25 watt solar panel from Grease Cell. Now you're asking yourself, what, what could I possibly do with a 25 watt solar panel? Well, I'm gonna show you. Okay, let's open this up. And actually on the box, the box shows you a pretty much a blank front, 25 watts Grease Cell solar panel, but on the back, it gives you all the information about the solar panel. Uh, the model is the S25, monocrystalline silicone cells. Uh, let's see, the material is 648D Oxford fabric. I don't know what that is. I do know that the solar treat or the surface treatment, ETFE, that's very good. That uh, withstands the weather a lot better. The conversion rate is 23%. Again, it's 25 watts. The output connection is an SAE connector. Uh, and see the open circuit is 18.75 with a max load of 15 volts um, at 1.67 amps. Uh, the operating temperatures are negative 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. And the unfolded size is 375 by 554 millimeters, give or take 0.5%. And the folded size is 375 by 270 millimeters. Okay, when you open it up, you get uh, some sort of box and the solar panel with a small user's manual. Okay, and this, th I like this material that they used. It's like, yeah, it is like some sort of uh, Oxford fabric. I don't know what that is, but I like it. It's really nice. And look how small this is. I mean, I know it's 25 watts, but it's really small. And then here is our SAE connector. And then when you open it up, we have a small piece of styrofoam to protect the cells. And there it is. That right there is what it looks like open. And we have uh, slots on the tops and bottoms. And we have, it uh, looks like uh, carabiner holes on, on all four corners. So there are multiple ways of, of hanging this. And then we do have a small controller on the back. Okay, and in the included box, let's see what's in here. Okay, and in the box, it looks like we have an SAE connection to a cigarette lighter adapter. And uh, we have two carabiners. Uh, it looks like four suction cups. And an SAE two alligator clips, oh, which are nice, nice and strong, I like that. The use for a solar panel this small is really for maintaining or like a trickle charger. Uh, like I said, it's 25 watts. So this would be perfect to maintain like your RV, bat your starter battery on your RV. Um, you just put this in your windshield and it will make sure that no, long, no matter how long you sit out uh, boondocking, you're always gonna have your starter battery nice and full. We're also gonna try this on a small power station just to see uh, you know, if we're getting the the output that we expect, you know, it says 25 watts. So if we were able to get 20 or maybe a little bit higher, uh, I would be I would be pretty in, pretty impressed. So first, let's see how you would actually situate this thing in your car or RV. Okay, so the first way that you could position this thing is using the carabiners, and these could be used. You know, you could put them like on the top of your luggage rack, something like that. Um, if you're going to be connecting it, you know, directly to your starter battery. The second way would be using these little suction cups and you can see that they have the hole and then the little slot on all four sides uh, down here and up here. So what you would do is you would just push it in and then you would slide, you would just slide the suction cup down like that. So now it's firmly in place and it's not going to come out, which I, I like that design. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my car and grab a little solar solar power station and we're going to see what kind of wattage we're going to be getting out of this solar panel through a windshield and then we'll try it again uh, just in open light where there's no windshield in place okay so i am now in the passenger seat of my car and i have the 25 watt solar panel attached to the inside of my car via the suction cups it was very easy all you had to do is just slap it up there and it's stuck and i've actually got it connected to a um Power Urus 100 amp hour battery. No solar charge controller, no nothing, just the solar panel straight to the battery. 
Uh, let me go ahead and show you the screen for the Bluetooth on the battery. There we go. And now what you can see is that at the top we have total voltage is 13.2 and our total current is zero. Now if I just connect the alligator clips that were uh, with the solar panel, let's see what we get. All right, alligator clip is connected and look at the total current. Total voltage is still 13.2 and the total current is 0.4 amps. Now if you were to multiply those together, you would get 5.28 watts. So the reason that is, I believe, is because the windshield on your car or truck or RV um, is reducing the amount of um, pretty much the, reducing the amount of sunlight coming into your car. So the next test is going to be putting this on the outside of my car and seeing what the total amperage is going into the battery after that. Okay, I now have put the solar panel on the outside of my car. Let me just show you. As you can see it right there. All right, you can see it right there on the outside. All I did was turn these suction cups around and just slapped it to the outside. And then the wire is running just through the window down to that battery down there. Now, if we look at the amperage coming into the battery, it has essentially doubled. It is now up to 1.1 amps. So if you multiply that, that gives you 13.2 times 1.1 equals 14.52 watts. Now you have to remember that my car is just parked in my driveway. I tried to face it close to the, to the sun, like close in the direction of where the sun is, but it's just slapped on my windshield. It's not perfect at all. Um, I actually did put this out in my driveway and I pointed it right at the sun and I was able to get up to 1.6 amps. Now that equates to 21.12 watts. So 21 watts out of a 25 watt solar panel, that's pretty good. Okay, so what do I think of the 25 watt monocrystalline solar panel from Greasel? Well, if you're looking for something to just trickle charge your battery while you're boondocking or just gonna be in a parking lot, um, you know, for a week or two, uh, I think this thing would fit the bill. Uh, it has uh, a couple of connections that would cover any way that you want to connect it. I mean, the cigarette lighter adapter, if your car is fitted with a cigarette lighter that doesn't shut off when you shut the car off, this would work perfect to maintain your battery. Or if you're boondocking and you want to leave the solar panel on the outside of your uh, RV or car, uh, connecting it directly to the battery is actually the best way to go. That way you're not losing, you're not losing that sunlight that's uh, being depleted from going through the windshield to get to the solar panel. Um, I like the idea that it's very portable. It has a few ways of being able to connect to the windshield of your car or to just the outside of your vehicle in general by carabiners or those suction cups, which work very nice for me. And if you do want to leave it on the outside of your car, it does have that ETFE coating. So it will withstand uh, pretty much any weather that you throw at it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the Grease Cell 25 watt solar panel, please leave them in the comments. Um, I'll have a link to this in my description if you want to look further into it. Thanks again and have a great day. Bye-bye.